Sooner or later, we all begin to understand that love is more than verses, valentines, or romantic movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. Love is the creator of our favorite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can flourish even in the most unlikely places. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy is the greatest of all. Sydney Gleason and William Schultz, this is what your family and your friends have come here today to see and to feel. Only once in your life, I truly believe, you find someone who can completely turn your world around. You tell them things you've never shared with another soul, and they absorb everything you say and actually want to hear more. You share hopes for the future, dreams that will never come true, goals that were never achieved, and the many disappointments that life has thrown your way when something wonderful happens, you can't wait to tell them about it, knowing that they will share in your excitement. They're not embarrassed to cry with you when you are hurting or laugh with you when you make a fool of yourself. Never do they hurt your feelings or make you feel like you are not good enough, but rather they build you up and show you the things about yourself that make you special and beautiful. There is never any pressure, jealousy, or competition, but only a quiet calmness when they are around. You can be yourself and not worry about what they think about you because they love you for whom you are. Memories of your childhood come back and are so clear and vivid, it's like being young again. Colors seem brighter and more brilliant. Laughter seems part of daily life where before it was infrequent or didn't exist at all. A phone call or two during the day helps to get you through a long day's work and always brings a smile to your face. In their presence, there's no need for continuous conversation, but you find you're quite content in just having them nearby. Things that never interested you before become fascinating because you know they are important to this person who is so special to you. You think of this person on every occasion and in everything you do. Simple things bring them to mind like a pale blue sky, gentle wind, or even a storm cloud on the horizon. You open your heart knowing that there's a chance it may be broken one day. And in opening your heart, you experience a love and joy that you never dreamt possible. Sydney, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. Before these witnesses, I vow to love you and care for you as long as we live. I take you with all your faults and strengths as I offer myself to you and all my faults and all, and all my strengths. I will help you when you need help and turn to you when I need help. I choose you to be the person with whom I spend my whole life. William. I love that you open doors for little old ladies. I love that you would spend your last five dollars just to see somebody else happy. 
<laughs> and I love, I love that, that you're strong and honorable, yet warm and compassionate, compassionate loving and accepting of all people. But most of all, I love, I love that, that you and I both love, love each, each other so much. much. I, I promise, promise to stand by you and be the biggest fan of your fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to never let anything come between us, to fight for us, and to love through you good times. I present to you the newly married couple, William and Sydney. I was thinking about the first time I met Will. And so when Sydney told me she met him, I was like, um, mm. I don't know about this guy and I, I need to meet him before, you know, before this is for real. And so she was like, okay, we're gonna drive to Omaha and we're gonna meet you. And she told me, she said, he's got a surprise for you. He shows up with two pies. And these pies, he, he walks out of the car holding these pies just proud as can be. And I was like, okay, like, sure. And then he comes inside and he'd already eaten half of both of the pies. And then I, I was like, okay, sure. And then I look at Sydney and she's looking at him with these eyes like, that's my man. And I was like, oh my God, my best friend is gonna marry this man. Like this man that brings me half pies. But she was so proud of these pies. All right, well, he's handsome, he's witty, he's intelligent, and I'm sorry, Will, I can't read your handwriting here, so. <laughs> <laughs> And all kidding aside, I don't think I could pick anyone better for my best friend. But also, you have found a pot of gold. This girl, I gotta stop because I don't wanna cry, but this girl is, she is everything you ever hoped for. If any of you guys know Sydney, you know that she's, she's an amazing person, she's very special, and uh, she deserves a, an amazing husband. So, Will, my hat's off to you for rounding her up before someone else did, you yeah. know. Your lips on my lips started like this With one little kiss I knew I wanted love I knew I wanted you Shoot him. 
your lips on my lips started like this one little kiss i knew i wanted love 